atop the Tug Hill Plateau near the hamlet of Altmar. More Ice Age artifacts. Ancient bogs and kettle pools formed when huge chunks of ice trapped below the soil line at the end of the last ice age melted. Altogether, these wetland formations sustain the largest known ice age aquifer in the region. Conditions here sustain a cycle of life perpetuated by unique ecology and remoteness. Certain wildflowers, like these turtle heads, often used to accent suburban flower gardens, are native here. Cardinal flowers, also native in the upstate New York region, are among the first species to disappear when wetlands are disturbed for development. Here, they thrive. Wherever such unique ecology is perpetuated over time, the presence of certain animal species is predictable. A red newt forages for worms on this dead tree in a late stage of returning important nutrients to the micro-community from which it emerged. This expansive kettle pond is covered by a thick layer of dead plants that accumulate at the onset of winter. It has become a floating bog, home to rare ferns, delicate native orchids, and carnivorous species that trap and ingest insects. It's a good bet that deep within at least some of these bogs lie the remains of hulking animals that disappeared shortly after the ice retreated. 